And right now, more than 36,000 First Energy customers in Northeast Ohio are still without power. More than 26,000 of those outages are in Cuyahoga County. Crews are hoping to restore everyone's electricity by tomorrow night. But it's not just power outages. These storms left a trail of damage all across our area. And for one woman in Cleveland, a tree fell on top of the roof of her home just a couple of weeks after she says she warned the city it was leaning towards her house. News 5's Clay Lepard joins us live along Bower Avenue where that tree has yet to be moved. Clay, what's the delay there? Courtney and Delon, the tree fell last night, but where it's located falls in a gray area as to who's responsible for fixing this, given that it's located between a sidewalk and a city road, but also where crews are working on the Opportunity Corridor. This is, this is horrible. In a matter of moments, Nicole Martovitz found her family and her upstairs tenants at risk of losing their Cleveland home after this tree came crashing down Wednesday evening. Well, I have no way of knowing how much damage there is so far, but I can see my brand new gutters we put a few, up a few months ago are already destroyed. The siding has been um, completely displaced, and then you can just see the tree coming through the roof and into the, the tenant's living room. The frustration builds from Artovitz after she says she called the city a month ago asking for them to take down that tree that had begun to lean. She even captured this video earlier this week. Careful. Just 24 hours before the tree fell. This was completely preventable. To complicate the situation, responsibility of the tree isn't exactly obvious. It stood between a city sidewalk and the road, or what's left of the road. Only some signs for East 59th and Bower Avenue remain as a new three-foot drop exposed tree roots and excavators mark where the road once stood. All part of the Ohio Department of Transportation's Opportunity Corridor Project. So they really just made a bad situation worse. Not long after we started looking into this tree, the Ohio Department of Transportation reached out, offering to take down the tree for free. A moment of relief for Nicole Martovitz. I'm just happy that, you know, as long as this get they get to the bottom of it, everything gets back repaired the way it was. And myself and my tenants and my son and my mother are not put out from all of this and, and interrupted any more than we've already been. Um, you know, then I'm, I'm going to be happy if, if they just step up and fix everything 110%. As for any damage done to the home, a spokesperson with the Ohio Department of Transportation says they will work with Nicole, the homeowner, on any property insurance claims with them. For those wondering, this stretch of the Opportunity Corridor is slated to finish this fall. Live in Cleveland, Clay Lepard, News 5. Absolutely frustrating situation for Nicole Clay. Thanks so much. And we did reach out to the city of Cleveland about that original call to take down the tree. They acknowledged our request, but offered no response to it. And we first heard about this story from our News 5 tip line. If you have pictures of, of severe weather in your area, send them our way at WEWS5tips at scripts.com.